Hey, it's Tony Fonte. How you doing? I make the spiritual awakening journey fun. Today's message, I actually wasn't going to record it today. I have it listed, but I didn't. I wasn't going to record it today, but I've had many conversations over the last two days and seen many different posts on this subject about being childlike and the expression of the child likeness. So I wanted to, to have this topic and this question and, and actually get you thinking again about remember when it was a, when you were a child, what it was like to be a child. And we're going to dive into that in just a moment, so don't go nowhere. All right, welcome back. Let's dive into the question, the pondering of, do you remember as a child what it was like? And a lot of my work is about rediscovering that part of us rediscovering the child likeness of us, the essence of who we truly are, and be begin creating a life from that place because we've forgotten who we are and we've forgotten that part of us. Or we use other things to express that, to feel safe to express that child likeness, but we don't fully embrace it. We think, oh, there's a time and a place for this. And there was a time when we were fully connected with ourselves, before the, the veil, before the wool, before the curtain was pulled over our eyes and all the conditioning from our parents and society and teachers and peers and government and religions put this curtain and veil and wool over our eyes and we forgot who the fuck we are. We forgot that child likeness. And some of us have getting back to this. Some of us are beginning that journey back, and that's really what I believe the spiritual awakening journey is. It's that rediscovery of that child likeness that we are, so that we can manifest and create what we want and desire. Kids are so in tune with this magical power, and it's not fucking magic because we all have it. The curiosity that they, they had, the imagination, the creativity, that kids have the, the the sense of wonder and joy and excitement. They have no fucking worries. They just believe things can be. They believe things can happen. And they often create manifest very easily because they have no hindrances. And then we get to a certain age where that, that veil, that curtain, that wool is pulled over our eyes and the conditioning and we go through school and their conditioning is for the real world and how it's supposed to be and we forget who we are. And we have these, these grand ideas and these dreams of who we want to be and what we want to do. And as a kid, we, we get these responses of, oh yes, that's awesome, you can be anything you want. And then we get older. Stop dreaming, get your head out of the clouds. We start doubting ourselves and our own dreams because of this conditioning. Well, maybe I can't. We have all the shame, all this guilt, these fears, these insecurities. Whereas a kid, we had none of that. We were so connected with the divine, the spiritual world. And I want to throw this out there. Many kids have imaginary friends. Are they really imaginary? Or are they actually seeing spirits? Because I believe that the spirit world and this world they're not separate. They are freaking intertwined. And they were able to see. They were able to hear. They were able to feel. They were able to sense. We all have these superpowers. We all have healing abilities. And we've forgotten who we are. We've forgotten those powers. Because we were told they were foolish. The same way that our parents were. And our parents said, oh, I, when I become an adult and I have kids, I will never be like my parents. I'm going to do things differently. And then we continue this generational cycle of doing the same damn thing until we figure out something new and we can switch it. Being childlike is a sense of rediscovering who the fuck you are and how powerful you are and getting in tune with those powers again and the connection to God, source, universe, creator, whatever you resonate with.
and then living from that place and not worrying about what people think, not trying to get people to agree with what we, we believe in so we can feel better, but understanding and accepting and loving people regardless of where they are and what they believe in. Having more fun in everyday life. Having fun in everywhere. People are like, Tony, you are so childlike and sometimes you, you just have fun. Yes, I do. Am I, am I perfect at it? No. Do I still worry? Fuck yeah, I do. I'm human. I struggle with my own inner work and having fun with the inner work. And I've had awarenesses of that. I've had struggles with having fun with finances and business, relationships. It's all part of the process and journey. But I'm often reminded that when I'm having fun, I manifest so easily. I manifest and create the world that I want. Things flow to me easily with little effort or no effort. I simply have the freaking idea and thought, oh, that would be fun. And, and I let it go and I'm having fun and shit shows up. Business shows up. Money shows up. The relationships show up. It's when we get we lose our way of who we think we are and should be and how people should respond that we lose that freaking childlike sense of wonder. And what if we step back and just went back to that childlike sense of wonder and joy and imagination and creativity and we open that connection back up and we start having more fun in all situations, even death. And stop taking life so fucking seriously all the time. Taking everything so seriously. We become free. We gain more peace. We're able to love more. Give and receive love. We're able to judge less. We're able to control less. Or attempt to control. When we rediscover who we are, we create a new world. And that's what I want to do. I help people rediscover themselves. Get in touch with that inner child that's been wounded and love on them. Rediscover who they are. Rediscover their powers. Rediscover that, 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 that joy, that excitement, that passion, that imagination, that creativity, that dreaming. And from that place, create the reality that they want that lights them up. Let me know how I can serve you. What resonated with you on this video? What resonated with anything that I said? Where do you see yourself struggling to rediscover who you are or to get back in touch with that, that childlike sense of wonder, joy, imagination, creativity, that this being more childlike? Where have you struggled? Where has this allowed you to see more of that? And as always, let me know how I can help. As I already said, Make sure that you like, subscribe, and then leave me a comment as well. Share it if it resonates with you. And I'll see you on the next episode of the Laughing Through Life Show. Peace.